Baldur's Gate 3 is causing some developers to panic, and good, they should be panicking. Freaking developers over here making these half-ass games. That's right, I said it. I used the word. I used the butt word. <laughs> Play. The internet by storm. Oops. There we go. Baldur's Gate 3 is taking the internet by storm. At its peak, a whopping 800,000 plus concurrent players were playing this weekend, catapulting it to the number eight most played of all time spot. The gaming community has sung its praises and it's incredibly refreshing to play a feature complete game of this caliber on day one. You know, I was telling, I was telling Chaos today as well, uh, cause I was, I was, we were hanging out and I'm like, hey Chaos, have you ever heard of this buzzword? And I said, feature complete. Oh, oh, that's a fancy one, isn't it? <laughs> you don't get many of those anymore. Feature complete. A full game, some might even say. You know, when you, when you, when you want a game, you get the whole game. You don't just get pieces and chunks and sizes. You get the whole freaking thing. But AAA game developers want you to know that this is rockstar level nonsense for scope, that it's foolhardy to set expectations higher, and Baldur's Gate 3 should not be used as a raised standard to RPGs going forward. Raised standard. Raised standard. No, that's just the standard. We used to have full games. When, we, when you purchased a game, you had the whole game. The whole game was there when you, you got it in the box. Why was the first response to defend the current state of AAA gaming as opposed to saying, hey, maybe we can learn a thing or two from Baldur's Gate 3 and make our game better for our customers? Because they don't want to do that. They want to make it worse. They want to put minimal effort for minimum compensation. Or, well, maximum compensation, rather. Not, I, I, I guess that, that, I messed that up. But, <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, it's, it's, it's like the same, I feel like they did the same thing with Elden Ring, didn't they? Wasn't that like a whole thing with Elden Ring? Everyone was like, ah, Elden Ring, ah, it's not even that good, whatever, it's boo, it's, it's kind of okay. Freaking Game of the Year, my dude. Uh, and it deserves it. It deserves Game of the Year. Of course it does. But like, Baldur's Gate now, apparently, because it's a full game, just completely out, out the box, you get the game, period. No, no, no extras. No microtransactions, no no battle passes, no, no, no uh, season passes, like nothing. You just get the game. This all kicked off way back on July 8th, a lifetime ago. Now they're getting mad because now like, oh, now you're going to want me to also give you a full, complete, good game. Ah. Internet standards, I know. When a writer and BAFTA nominee, Xavier Nelson, took to Twitter to express concerns about Baldur's Gate 3, namely that fans would use Baldur's Gate 3 to apply criticism or a raised standard to RPGs going forward. My rebuttal is, why shouldn't customers have raised standards? Taking it a step further, why shouldn't some AAA developers raise their own standards? Are we really going to pretend that consumers shouldn't be a little upset right now and hoping for an improvement in the industry going forward? Rockstar just announced a 50... Yes, absolutely. And if anything, like, my whole thing is I urge you all to now use this, Any everyone who has played Baldur's Gate, use this as an example. If games in the future... Do not meet this expectation. You shouldn't buy it. It's just not a complete game. Like, how do, come on, man. Just, can we just have a game that I can just, like, buy the game and just play the game and that's the game? I don't have to wait for, like, 20 different day one patches? Like, ugh. $50 remake, I'm sorry, conversion of the original Red Dead Redemption for the PlayStation like, I'm 4 just sick of it. and Switch that has no mention. Dude, you know what? You know which one got me the most mad? Because I'm such a huge fan. Uh, Battlefield 2042. Oops, I've been such a long time huge fan. Dude, ever since ever since Battlefield 3 specifically, I have been like that that was the one that got me dedicated. That was the one that made me a lot lifetime like fan of, of Battlefield. And 2042 came out, dude. Ah, uh, even now it's still not the great. Don't get me wrong. I, I watch other amazing YouTubers that you guys should check out. Jack Frags is a great example of one of my all-time favorite YouTubers ever. Shout out, Jack Frags. Uh, 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 future Degenerate Weeb, when you edit this video, please add Jack Frags on the tags now. <laughs> SEO, baby! Alright, uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so, 
I, I agree. It's a lot, a lot oh, to night and day the difference between how it was day one and now. However, still the game is still not anywhere near as good as I want it to be. Uh, uh, like there's still a lot of little detail, a lot of little problems, dude, and like some things that just like they're problems from the ground up. Like some of the maps are just terribly designed, like flat out, and 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 no matter how much debris they put which like like it just it doesn't it's just a bad map design it's just a bad map design it's not going to help how much cover you add mention of a 4k update no mention of 60 fps and no mention of multiplayer support i heard about the this. game came out 13 years ago and the xbox port does everything they're offering and then some for free with your they really try to charge 50 dollars Five oh for a freaking uh port not even a remaster not a, not an upgrade not a nothing just a direct port to the switch like, bro, aren't most games on the Switch like 40 bucks? Or 360 copy. Go buy a brand new copy of the Game of the Year edition on Amazon. Yeah, on a 360. Look at that. 30 bucks on Amazon. Amazon right now for $30, and you're good to go. Star Oh, and it comes with the zombie one. Yo! Jedi I never played the zombie one. I Survivor, when released on PC, had furious fans citing numerous problems getting the game to run, frequent crashes, and similar problems on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox. EA apologized and is still working to Did fix the issues. Did they fix this? Death Can someone tell me, did they ever fix that? Because I, I do eventually want to play that. I'm super excited to play it. Uh, but like, did they ever fix that? Did they ever like do that, this thing? Destiny 2 just released a state of the game blog saying, amongst other things, that they don't have the resources to release new ritual armor every season. But that same studio manages to create new armor sets in the shop for up to $20 a pop without fail every season. I wonder why. Could it be... Money? <laughs> Perhaps could it be the wallet has somehow swayed the decision making at this enterprise? But no, I shan't believe it. Would I? Would any? Would any honest to goodness developer publisher uh, ever ever stoop so low as to allow their morals to be dictated by the amount of moolah that could be obtained? Nonsense. I shudder at the thought. Diablo 4 unabashedly has several character skins priced at $20. Oh, good heavens. All right, yeah, never mind. Yeah, 20 times, 20 bucks! Each, and just released their first season that had a patch. Bro, that's lunch. That's a whole lunch now, dude. You know how much, how expensive food is now? That's lunch. That was so poorly thought out. And not even like a good lunch. That's like a McDonald's lunch nowadays. That the developers had to have an emergency live stream to apologize and have since begun working to revert those changes. We don't plan on doing a patch like this ever again. Okay, you need a- I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I was heavily, heavily debating buying Diablo 4, but with this most recent situation, I am so glad I waited. I'm getting Baldur's Gate. Uh, not even kidding. I already got it. I, I, we're playing it next week. Dude, cause uh, cause me me for those who don't know me, uh, burrito, uh, 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 degenerate weave and chaos have been trying to get into Dungeons and Dragons, uh, and we're like super awesome fans of it. Now I know I'm a you know VTuber, so like I wouldn't really be able to do much. Maybe I could commentate or like react or something to. I don't freaking know how how that would work. Uh, I'll be in, I'll be involved in one way or another. But uh, uh, so we wanted to get into like Dungeons and Dragons, and I was also a huge fan of how uh, like Rooster Teeth. If you guys remember those Heroes and Half Wits, they did stuff like that. Uh, a lot of other people know. Uh, uh, I, I'm blanking out on their name. I'm so sorry. But there there are a lot of a lot a lot of freaking Dungeons and Dragons like live stuff like that that uh, that people uh, uh, record. And so uh, I, you know someday in the future, I thought maybe that would be cool to do. But we're we're try we're barely dipping our toes into it. So uh, uh, Baldur's Gate being in the Dungeons and Dragons world, that's kind of what drew my attention to it. Because in general, we we've already started making our characters for actual Dungeons and Dragons, like uh, uh, you know the board game that we're gonna be playing in real life, IRL. But uh, on top of that, we just kind of wanted to get more into the world, learn a little bit about the atmosphere, and we were all kind of eyeballing Diablo Four, you know. So. Now, you know, now we're looking at Baldur's Gate, you know, it's just what it is, man, it is what it is. I, I've been hearing a lot of controversy about Diablo 4, but I've been hearing nothing but good things about Baldur's Gate 3. It's just, what can I say? 
What can I say? Seems like an easy choice to me, you know. More comparable RPG Meh. example Meh. why fans Meh. are heralding Baldur's Gate 3 as a breath of fresh air. Look no further than Mass Effect Andromeda, which was widely panned. Oh my goodness, dude. I, I was so hyped. I was so hyped. I, I got betrayed by Mass Effect 3, okay? Uh, Mass Effect 2, to this day, probably one of my all-time favorite video games of all time, of absolute all time. I somehow accidentally perfected Mass Effect 2 on the first try. Not, not even a humble brag. I don't care. That's a full-on non unhumble brag, bro. First try. First try. I even let the insect queen lady live, and I don't even like bugs like that. But I freaking let her live, and and they were like super nice to all the peeps, and like I perfected it, dude. I perfected it. I got the guests. I got the guests to freaking like be homies, bro. You don't even know. It was the best. Then Mass Effect Three came out, and this is a disappointment. And I couldn't afford the DLC, so I just never got the good ending. I just, I just, just got the the. What did I get? The red, the blue. I got one of the blue, red, or green endings. I got one of those. And then, and, then, and then that was it. And I was bored and I hated it. <laughs> and then I was so hyped for Andromeda because I thought I was going to be, oh, the next, uh, you know, the next big thing. No, no. It was, it was way worse. Way worse than three. I, 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 I at least three, the kid, the, the, I don't know. The, at least in three, it, like, it was Shepard, you know? <laughs> at least it continued the story. Sorry, my face is tired of ah. dealing with everything. Or don't remind Cyberpunk me. Cyberpunk 2077. That ah, another. Oh, another game I also purchased. Ah, pre-ordered. No. Por qué? Por qué? Ay. Ay. Me lele. Mi corazón pequeño. <laughs> well, last gen game. Dude, you don't understand, man. Look at me. Look at me. Look at what I'm wearing. 100%. This was heavily inspired by movies like Redline, Cowboy Bebop anime, and Cyberpunk 20... Ugh. Ah! I haven't even... I was so betrayed by this game that I haven't even watched Cyberpunk Edgerunners, bro. I haven't even watched Edgerunners yet, just from how betrayed I felt. ...consoles that it couldn't keep. It took CDPR I just almost a believe year it. to get that all sorted out. I'll make this as clear as possible to contextualize how fans are feeling. It feels like money has become more important than the core experience for fans. What? Nonsense. That's why Elden Ring, Baldur's Gate 3, and even The Legend of Zelda Tears of the King. I haven't played it, but I, I, I got to get that one too. Are can, can someone, if anybody knows, is, is YouTube still super strict about Nintendo games on the platform? Or can anyone play them now, like without being scaled? <laughs> Because I'd be down to play some, some Switch games. I got, I got plenty of those. Being widely celebrated. So what is up with the excuses? A game came along that is amazing, is selling well, is being praised by developers and fans alike, and the response is, well, we can't do that. Well, sweet. If that doesn't get me hyped for Mass Effect 4, I don't know what will. Xavier's tweet was well-intentioned, and he went on to add a lot of important context. But I think it misses the perspective of the consumer. We don't know anything about game design or how hard it is. We just know that Destiny is deleting hundreds of dollars worth of expansions when they feel like it, that Diablo is constantly reminding us to buy skins in their store, and most PC ports have been abysmal lately. Remember oh, that dollars worth of expansions when they feel like it, that Diablo is constantly reminding us to buy skins. I'll admit this. I I like this. <laughs> but uh, and most. But what is this? Ah. Okay. <laughs> Yo, that's a nightmare fuel. They look like pinatas. They look like really badly made pinatas. Like, like it looks like paper that's been like stapled onto. The <laughs> Oh, that's horrifying. PC ports have been that's actually a little scary, lately. isn't it? Uh. Remember, that tweet was made nearly a month before Baldur's Gate 3 blew up, and it was still contentious with fans speaking up about their frustrations and developers chiming in to say what felt like, game development is hard, you don't get it, be quiet. Baldur's Gate 3 is a game from a large pack. Look at that Gandalf. Y'all saw Gandalf there, bro? and developers chiming in to say what felt like game development is hard you don't get it yeah they're just complaining they're just complaining be quiet Baldur's Gate they put more effort than me Gate 3 is stop it 
<laughs> Look at this, man! You can actually chaos! Gals! You can actually become a freaking sleep of wizard! It's a game from a large, passionate studio. Oh, hello, demon lady on the left. That refuses to add microtransactions. No in-game purchases. I... Talk, talk, talk nicer to me, baby. Game uh, player, you don't Let's go get back. It. I need to see that Be one more time. Quiet. Baldur's Gate 3 is a game from a large, passionate studio that refuses to add microtransactions. No, there are no in-game purchases in our game. Oh, oh, those sweet words. Please, speak more sweet nothings to me. We believe in providing a complete and immersive gaming experience without the need for additional purposes. Oh my goodness. Enjoy the game to its fullest without any additional costs or microtransactions enough. A man can only get so hard. Ah! <laughs> Dude. Actions gave players early access oh, hello. so they could address any problems that arose before launch and is taking Steam charts by storm. So why should fans not use that as a gold standard of how to do it right? We should. It absolutely should. Yes, this is, this is like, uh, here's the thing. I, I'm going to play the game and you guys are going to be able to see all of it, all of it for yourselves on Monday. Please join us Monday, uh, nine to one. It's going to be freaking awesome. Uh, so please, please, do join us. It's gonna be sick. Uh, here's the thing. I'm hoping it's gonna be awesome. But if I enjoy this game, if I think it's fun, with all the freaking completed game, and we'll see. I, uh, you know, I don't have any opinion on it. I haven't seen much of it yet. Just got some initial reactions. That's about it. Just been seeing a little bit of material. Promotional stuff. Nothing much else. So I'll see. I'll see. But if I like the game and it's a full experience, yeah, you can bet your you can bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna be using it as my personal golden standard for games moving forward. And it just cause I it just don't I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of these half-assed games. I really am. I, if you think I'm gonna if you think trust me, I've seen the Call of Duty Modern Warfare three trailers. I don't care. I ain't buying it. I don't trust you this time. You've lost all I've lost all faith in you. Bioware, Activision, Blizzard, King. The like a stuff? No? Wait, who is it now? Someone. Yeah, yeah, I don't trust you no more. Right. And why would a AAA studio not look at it and say, hey, maybe cramming microtransactions into our game isn't a good look? When Mass Effect 4 comes out, I don't want to see a $20 Liara skin. And I hope that its performance is tested across all platforms before release. Am I in the wrong for not wanting microtransactions in a stable video game at launch? Credit where credit's due now. There have been some really good examples of AAA games like the Dead Space remake and the Resident Evil. I, I, I am going to eventually purchase both of these games and I'm going to play them on the channel. But I'm probably going to do the originals first. I do have the original Dead Space and Dead Space 2. I will do that just Baldur's Gate has now taken my priorities. <laughs> but we will get to those, my dudes. No worries, no worries. Before remake. Uh, more than likely, once we finish uh, uh, Honkai Star Rail, or at least the campaign section, uh, I'll be uh, I'll be switching over to one of those. From the mind, both of which have been massive successes for EA and Capcom. Vampire Survivors came along and took the internet by storm last year. Do that I game. need to bring up Elden Ring again? But yeah, that tweet blew I'm up. I'm still playing it the actually sometimes. Sphere, and frankly, the pushback is just ridiculous. Honestly, it's the only reason I'm going to buy probably the ROG Ally once they put out some kind of second and, and, and rendition, maybe with a bigger battery. Uh, I'll probably end up buying it just to play Elden Ring. Ridiculous. Developers should be looking at what Baldur's Gate 3 did and trying to replicate where they can. Oh, look at that, not dude. jumping up to defend games that you are You can become a bear hawk? That fans are getting fed up with. What do you even call that bear hawk thing? It's freaking sick. Wait. And make no mistake about it, these decisions impact game design. Many games are utilizing battle passes and player engagement as a metric of success. For a player, that means more grindy missions. That means more reminders to stop in the shop. It means a boring grind because keeping players engaged is a key metric. Many of the people who came out to talk about why Baldur's Gate 3 shouldn't be the new standard have since walked back those statements, and I'm glad. Because they if should. the industry can't take a good, hard look at what's going wrong, why fans reacted the way they did to Elden Ring and Baldur's Gate 3, and then make impactful changes, we're screwed. Yeah. Also, <laughs> if they're going to ignore it instead of actually, like, take note, 
then, 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 then I, I don't trust any games anymore that are going to be coming out, dude. Like, they're all going to be terrible. To be using the fact that Larian is a big studio against them, the fact that they had a long that development doo -doo. cycle against them. Really? Blizzard is also a huge studio with over 8,500 employees 8, across 000. several offices. How many does Larian have? So Blizzard has 8,000 employees. They credited every employee at Blizzard in the release of Diablo 4. Bungie is a huge studio with over 1,552 oh, 1, employees 1, across for Bungie. several offices. Bio I gotta admit, I never got into Destiny 2. There was way too many, like, cosmetics, way too much, like... It was too complicated for me, I'll be honest with you. Uh, there were too many, like, uh, too many, what do you call them? Currencies, there we go. There was too many currencies, too many, like, things, like, the getting in the way. Too many walls, too many walls for me to understand. I, I got bored, and, and I couldn't figure stuff out, and eventually just gave up. <laughs> Bioware is a huge studio with over 500 employees across several offices. And Larian is also a large studio with over 400 employees across... Over 400 compared to 1,008,000? ,008, Are you kidding me? Several offices. All of them have established beloved IPs with a ton of lore to pull from. All of them have a lot of money to make video games. And all of them had a long time to make anything they wanted to make. To say Baldur's Gate 3 is successful because it's aligned with Dungeons and Dragons is insanity. You Whoa. think 800,000 Steam players are playing a game called Baldur's Gate 3 because of Dungeons and Dragons? No. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm the odd one out, eh? It's clearly good. But no, of course, of course, of course, word of mouth, 100% word of mouth is, has, has been a huge impact for me. Word of mouth has been a huge impact for me. Uh, it, it's simply that the whole t being tied to Dungeons and Dragons has a... Uh, uh, Sold it for me, basically. Gone far beyond that audience. I don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons. I didn't know this game. Oh, you can romance? Had anything to do with Dungeons and Dragons, and you know why I'm like how much romance? Like how much romance? Like 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 Dragon Age romance? You like or like Mass Effect romance? Like how much romance? Playing it because I like good games with a heavy focus on story. I saw that dress, girl. What you mean? Retelling <laughs> and bears. But anyway, it wasn't all doom and gloom Squirrel. from the development side. Thank you, Juno Blees, formerly a riot, for jumping in and echoing exactly what I'm saying here. Her quote tweet reads, I can't disagree with this one more. Whenever a game disrupts the industry and delights players beyond expectations, it absolutely raises industry and genre standards regardless of why and how. We should look at the Larian success story and ask ourselves, how are we going to make our games better and create the next games that shake up the industry? Players should and must always expect more from us, never less. Thank you. I implore AAA devs to look at these games that are being celebrated and look at your pipeline to see why the consumer is getting frustrated about the experience I outlined in this video. And obviously try yeah. to make an improvement. Dude, I can't agree more. What a freaking phenomenal, like, just take from freaking IGN, dude. I, I'm always trash at IGN too, dude. Because telling me how Mad hard respect, it is my dude. you're breaking profit and... Yeah, telling me how hard, ah, uh, woe is me, woe is me. Revenue records isn't a super compelling argument from the customer's perspective. I can't talk, right? I just, I didn't stream yesterday because I was sick. <laughs> but I was like, really, really sick. Like, I couldn't talk, dude. If, if my voice goes, that's the only time I'll actually call off, all right? Today, I just feel, like, terrible. <laughs> Today, my body just aches. And, you know, I feel like throwing up. And, you know, I, I have fevers. <laughs> but Is I'm also Baldur's cold. Is Gate 3 an outlier? Yes. But I, for one, wish it could become the standard. But other than that, I'm fine. And being told to shut up because I don't know game design doesn't feel super constructive. But, hey, I'm just some idiot on the internet who doesn't know anything about game design. I guess I'll just go buy my horse armor and call it a day. Enjoy your $20 on top of your $100 for the collector's edition on top of your $15 for the battle pass. It's like, bro, I don't need to know game design. I got the wallet. I know what fun is. <laughs> and if it ain't fun, then suddenly I don't want my wallet to open up. The, the sucky part is that most of the times you already purchased the darn thing. By the time you figure out that it's sucky, you gotta go to the end game to get the good game. Yeah, well, by the time I get to the end game, it's already past the two hours for me to return it on Steam. What, what is do you this? Think? 
let me know in the comments below because I get why you're frustrated and it's really frustrating to see people not saying, hey, maybe we could learn a thing or two from Larian. I'm enduring Baldur's Gate 3 and I hope game development continues to grow from where it is today. I hope you do too. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And for more on all things gaming, keep it right here on IGN. Dude, what was his name again? continues to grow from where it is today i hope you do too let me know what you think in the comments below and for more on all things gaming keep it right here on ign oh he didn't say his name we can go back to the very beginning what's his name i want to know his name baldur's gate 3 is taking the internet by destin destin ligari 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 destin Freaking phenomenal video, dude. Phenomenal Bro, response. Dude Dude was calling out... Dude called out all the studios, everyone who's guilty about doing all this BS. Phenomenal, dude. Great, great, great. Freaking sick. I love it. You know what, dude? I... You... IGN, you got me to subscribe. That's because of him. That's just because of him. Nothing else. <laughs> Give him a raise. And make him do more stuff like this. That's ballsy. He actually called out developers. Like, said it well, how it is. Said, y'all y'all messing up. Step up your game. I respect that, dude. I respect that. It felt genuine, you know? I love it. I love it. Great, great freaking uh, 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 video, dude. I love it. Oh, I'm sure everyone's going nuts with it. I, I already know. I saw that, like, yeah. I, I saw Asmon did a video on it. I'm going to check that out soon. I saw, K I saw Penguin Zero did a video. Ray Craigley. Larian and BG3 is a breath of fresh air, so much so that gamers like me who would never have considered a uh, CRPG have gotten into the genre now. Thank you, Larian. Yeah, I, I genuinely, like, uh... No, no I, that's not true for me, necessarily. I played Path of Exile, which I'm a big, big fan of. Uh, I, I, I never finished it, unfortunately, made Chaos. Uh, just never got around to finishing the game. But, dude, when we played it, I was, uh... I was the tank, while he was just, like, a... 1 HP, like, absolute monster tank, like, glass tank. He was a glass tank, and I was just the tank. I, I, I was, I, like, I was just taken, like, I, I think I was shield. I was sword and shield, and I was just all health, all health. He had, like, one health, but did so much freaking damage. We were such a combination. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly excited if, if, if it's something to that degree as well. I don't know what class I would play. I, I want to check out videos and stuff on that. Uh, hey -o, be sure to join the crew. Please like, follow, and subscribe. And hey, if you like that video, you should check out this stuff. <laughs>